We're going to start by uh, this first video by showing how a frame is assembled. For illustration purposes, we're going to use the single unit fixed uh, unit, which we will call unit A for now, and show you how to assemble the frame. The frame is assembled because simply you have a horizontal sill, a horizontal head, and two vertical jams. The horizontals run across and the verticals go into them. The sill has weep holes on the bottom, as denoted here, and the header has round axis holes, as you can see here. When you lay everything on uh, a surface, you use saw horses and lay the bottom sill on the bottom with the top being the outside where the weep holes are and lay the left jam and the right jam accordingly and lay the head properly and if you notice the long leg is to the outside of the header and the short leg is to the inside and we're looking at the outside make sure that the cavity the glazing cavity is consistent all the way around before we assemble it we start from the bottom, we apply sealant at the face of the jam, along the entire contour of the jam at the bottom, as well as the screw boss is in here where the bolts will go. And then we take some number 14 by one and a quarter bolts, we connect them from the underside of the sill into the jam to the screw bosses. Again, before we do that, it is critical that the contour of the jam have a generous amount of sealant at every point will it be contact with the sill. Once the uh, bolts are connected, we want to apply sealant at the heads of both bolts here, and we want to apply sealant where the bolts go into the jam of the screw bosses. That's very important. And we do that on both corners of the sill to jam joinery. Let's go to the head. Now we connect the head to the jam. Hold on. Again, before we do that, we notice that the top of the jam is, has a notch to allow itself to go into the header. Again, we put sealant at the contour of the entire top of the jam, generous sealant, as well as in the screw bosses here where the bolts will go in. We do this on both jams at the top before we attempt to connect the header to the jam at the top. Again, we use the same number eight by one and a quarter bolts. It's number 14. Number 14, I'm sorry. Number 14 by eight and a quarter bolts. Again, two bolts on the underside. Okay. Once they're in, make sure we seal the heads of the bolts carefully, and we put sealant at the screw boss where the bolt is generously, so that there's absolutely no water going through the bolts. Okay, let's go. Once we do that, we now have the unit connected at all four corners. We want to apply end dams. We have end dams made up for the head to top of jam connection which looks like these and we have another type of end dam made for the sill to bottom of jam connection like that so and they're handed they will be marked there's a left and a right so before we connect them we want to apply silicone now wherever the end dam will make contact with the corner. So, show them how that goes in, please. So, this is how it makes corners. So, what we do is we want to apply silicone all around the end dam here and here and here. And then we want to connect the end dam, go ahead, like this, mm -hmm. and screw it in. And then we're going to screw it in. There's two holes here. We're not going to do it, just want to show them two holes here. And there's two holes here. Once it's connected, we want to cork all four holes. We want to cork here and here and here and here and here and make sure there's absolutely no water again through these end dams. It's very critical that, the, that these end dams are totally tight. And 
And we also want what? We also want to put seal sealant here and here so that when the seal channel goes in, uh, it's all properly caulked. And it cannot block it. We want to make sure that we don't block this area here because this seal channel that goes on the floor that connects the frame to it has to go all the way in there like this, free and clear, okay? It is important that you allow all the sealant to dry to least skin before you attempt to install the frame into the opening. Again, all four corners must be end dam sealed properly so that no water gets through any of these corners. That is critical. So it is important that, again, you put as much sealant as possible when you do the joinery, and then as much on the end dam, screw it together, and then seal the end dam all the way along the edges, the ends, everywhere, so no water gets through. That's a very critical step. And it would be recommended that a little field work has be done by pouring a little cup of water at the corners, tilting the frame. Once the silicone dry, make sure that no water gets through the corners. When everything is ready to go, then we're going to go to the next video to show you how to actually load the frame into the opening by using the silt channel and the head channel for the head. Thank you.